Ahem. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of a thousand year door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. When the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered there at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure in the Thousand Year Door starts here. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well. Um. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure heart and noble heart. As you can see, it won't open won't so much as budge shit. Oh! It wouldn't open for the, the old lady. I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever it is inside. I'm sure that whatever it is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hand and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. Hello everybody, I'm Gamerage101 and welcome to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. One of the most nostalgic Paper Mario games and most of, one of the most nostalgic Mario games of my childhood. Now, I am playing this on an emulator for anyone wondering, so there may be the occasional glitch or bug. Also, this save file is my save file that I used for testing the emulator, so we're actually just going to go ahead and erase that. And we'll just replace it with my new one. I was using it to test the emulator to make sure everything worked properly. So, let's go into this now. And we'll just do the same thing as it was. It's just my name, Zach. Uh, this is not anywhere near a blind LP for anybody wondering. However, I haven't played this game in a while. I do remember a big portion of the game because I played this game quite a bit and quite a, I mean, when I say quite a bit I mean I beat the game maybe eight or nine times on the GameCube so it's a pretty big part of my childhood actually <laughs> or rather my gaming childhood I should say the, the part of gaming you, you know what I mean Malco! also if you don't like the voices I'll stop doing them but for this episode I'm doing the voices so also his L yeah, I was about to say his L reverses right there before he turns around. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach has arrived for you. 
gonna butcher that the whole game, by the way. Ella just three to, to, to you. How's that at the sound? Him. Now let's see here. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna read this. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. I mean, I'm not gonna read it in Luigi's voice. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach! What do you know? It's true! There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out! I'm gonna wear that down so bad, I'm sorry. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. I love this game so much. This is by far the best Paper Mario game there is. And just in general, it's one of the best Mario games for me personally. Prologue. The Rogue's Welcome. I love this game. Excuse me, sir. All right, I'm just gonna assume he has that accent. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I think I just started embodying my Luigi there a little bit. I need to stop it. <laughs> I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting for you here? Or here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. Welcome to Rogueport, guys. The music is so nostalgic right now. God. Yes, I'm gonna save all progress. Because again, like I'm because I said I'm emulating, you'll see that stuff whenever I save at the top. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now! Never! I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew! I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Buh! 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 Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress! As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. I just imagine those dudes sound bored, like, all the time. N no! Stop right there! You weirdos! A scream! Really? Uh oh, I better go see what all the commotion is about. Oh! I can't go anywhere with you, smelly lunatics. Oh, with smelly lunatics like you? <laughs> Not likely. Whoa. What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you could screw up my plans? I, I just. I feel like he's probably a redneck. Let's go with that. God, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump a bomb. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Can't flee this fight. 
Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? All right, well, freak of the week, sure. Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Gotcha. Uh, let's do the jump. Boink, boink. Sweet, you know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, I still got my magic. And let's do the hammer this time. I did the stylish! You did it, you did it, yeah! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 star points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Gotcha. Nine star points. I did it! <laughs> buh, buh, buh! Okay, you got a couple decent shots and I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means... <laughs> It's go time! <laughs> I imagine he's shouting that, but I, it, it's kind of the middle of the night. I don't want, I, I don't want to shout it. Punish him! <laughs> Jesus Christ, he just turned into Lucifer. All right. Yep, they're just uh, dogpiling, and we're just like, quick, this way! Uh, all right, I just, I love how he just walks out of that. Whew. What a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Okay. Okay, bye. But, huh? Stop. Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Question marks. <laughs> uh, crud! They bolted! Yes. Yes, we did. <laughs> wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks! Thanks! I just- I have just got to give you a little reward, smooch. He's just like, huh? Oh, my name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya! So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Uh-huh. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Oh! Also the noose in the background. Oh, here comes the goons. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What you got there? Here comes the mafia. Oh my gosh, is, isn't that a treasure map? You have got to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly if it isn't Master Mario. Oh, here they go. Oh, they're, they're mugging them dudes. Oof. Oof. Stay down, bro! Uh, I'm gonna read that first. The boss sends his greetings. How's that road taste, punk? <laughs> Are you okay? That hurt. Those jerks! We won't forget this. <laughs> Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. <laughs> well, tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bug? Hmm. Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. Oh. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my off of her for, off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Oh! You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find a... Surely we'll find her. Surely! But I know my place, Master Mario. And this is not it. I leave this task to you. Me? I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. 
In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop on in! <laughs> yes, anyway. A little rest there will fill all of your HP. You're so punny! I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach? The Mushroom Kingdom Princess? Uh, I would imagine so. The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser? The Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec. This is crazy, Princess Peach! Sent you the treasure map? Oh. Whoa! This is really intense! Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Ooh, ooh, I know! Mario, come with me! One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Okay! Great, now we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined your party. Yay! Goombella's abilities. A primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogueport Plaza. This is the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. Okay. I'm rarely going to use that. That's Goomther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? I did. Also, her tattle ability, which I will use very regularly. Goombella can give you hints when she answers, so ask her for information often. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. Yes! Winky face. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Gotcha. Alright, I know where he's at, but first things first, let's do this. Uh, I wonder what's over here. Freeze! You two! Not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Not an inch, you say. All right, well, I'm just going to wait patiently. Maybe I should actually back up instead. Oh, squitch. Um, <laughs> idiot, you stepped on it. My poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? Uh-uh. This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens. But you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Uh-uh. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. I'm pretty sure I did like eight different accents, accents right there, but... And the shop. I believe I have some items on me already. No, I don't. Okay. Well, I'm not going to buy any right now, so... I will shortly, probably, but not at this particular moment. I think I'll be okay. Uh, we're going to go back there in a minute anyway, so let's not worry about that. Let's go ahead and save. And we're going to head over to this next area of Rogueport. Oops, part of me, sucker! Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! Okay. Bink! Mario, you gotta wake up! That guy just stole half of your coins! What? He robbed me! Yes, he robbed me. That is so lame! Ugh, I hate this town. Yeah, there's this cool little area back here. Uh, I don't think you can do anything with this right now. Actually, you might be able to... Yeah, there's a star piece back there. Star pieces are used to purchase badges from a vendor that we'll get to later. First off, let's see if we can't go find that little thief. Oh, also the inn. I 
I'm not really going to talk to any of these guys right now because they're all relevant later. But yeah, you talk to her to the end and then Toadsworth is there. And if you come over here, there is the badge shop. This is where you can buy badges. Open at 11 a.m. today. Well, I can't go in there right now. I think there might be a star piece right here as well. Am I going to get all the star pieces in the game? I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'm considering going for a 100% playthrough. So if you want me to do that, let me know and I will. There are going to be star pieces I miss. So if I do 100% playthrough, I will do them later. So, um, what about you? What do you got to say? Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of, Ish of Ishnail. Head of the Robo Robos. <laughs> the Robos. <laughs> it's 10 coins to pass through. Try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. I could pay him to pass through, or I could refuse to pay and not pass through, or I could take him. Think I could take him? Uh, let's just not pay right now. I will do that later. It's really simple. If you don't pay, you don't pass. All right, well, I don't need to go over there anyway. What's this shine sprite right here, though? Merlin? To power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you, if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Huh? You don't have enough shine sprites? Be gone! Come back with more. Okay. I will do that. What about this one? Bink. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly. Okay, I'm done. Sorry. Who's that? <laughs> who is that? Uh, who wants me? <laughs> who wants me? Oh, uh, yes, you. Now, you, uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's not a Lizagoom. Uh -huh. I got it. You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Okay, I'm, I can't keep that up. I'm sorry. I gotta stop. Wow, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at you, Goom. Go, Goombas. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario, Professor. He's Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh, my. My apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't got a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that you know that most say is little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while, st uh, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously, it's impossible to divine them, divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand-year door. I mean, the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass on? What are you implying, Goombella? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Of course. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand-year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads the stone leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. 
Correct, and the Thousand Year Door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. Ooh, what's that? Oh, he didn't say what's that. He just said what? Humming, humming a bubbity, humming a hubbity, hubbity, hippity, hoobity, hamala, hamala, hoofala. Really? Wow, that that is a mouthful. No comment. You, you actually have it. Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Here you go. Astounding! This is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella, Mario, off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. All right, let's do that. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> Clever old man. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. We will go down that pipe in the next episode. This one's going to be a bit of a short one because it's early for me, and I actually am not going to be able to continue this right away. But I have a couple of questions that I want to get off of, uh, get off right now before I end the video off. So please answer them if you if you've watched up to this point. Um, do you want me to voice act for some of these characters? Now keep in mind, I'm an idiot. So I, I'm gonna do stupid voices, and I'm not, even if you say yes, I'm not gonna do it for every one of them. I'm just gonna do it for the ones I think should do it, as I was doing the old man voice for, uh, frankly there. If you don't want me to do it, then I'll just read it in my normal standard personality, whatever you want to call it. I might still throw in the stupid voices here and there, whether you want me to or not, but if you want me to do it, I'll do it more often. And the other thing, I believe, was what the length was, if he, uh, what length of video would, you would prefer, whether 20 minute or 30 minute videos. Obviously, they're still gonna vary by a couple minutes here and there, depending on where I am in the game sometimes. But whichever one you would prefer is the one I'm gonna do. So for now, this one's a little bit closer to 30, so that's what's gonna stick with for the standard, unless I'm told otherwise. So 30 minutes is what I plan to do, but if you guys want shorter videos, then feel free to let me know. For now, let me save my game, and that is gonna be everything for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you wanna join my Discord, link is in the description below, and if you liked the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content and you haven't subscribed already, feel free to do so for videos every single day, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye!